can tell me? On next time on Dashboard. Oh my god! <laughs> he started and he didn't even say anything to me. Now you know how I rate. I will tell you that when I first started playing Final Fantasy Oh shit. Shit. Oh, no. When I when I first played Final Fantasy 15, yeah, I did really enjoy it. I really did. It just I got so sick of it. I got so burnt out on all the DLC and just all the talks of ooh, ooh, that. Ooh, it, ooh. It, it Look how many like, points there are. Oh man, it's like we're tied. <gasps> it's it, it seemed like Square was looking to ride Final Fantasy 15 as like long as they the could. Final Fantasy that defined the franchise. Right. And I guess I don't really consider myself an old school Final Fantasy player because I didn't start until Final Fantasy. So I would consider that the end of the old school era. Okay. Well, there, there. I'm an end, end of the old school era. Er, is what I am. You are up, by the way. Oh yeah. Um. So wait, is there more course? Is that like a jump? I bet it's like a jump. Oh fucking great. <laughs> yup. Um, if, if you're gonna define a game like Final Fantasy with one Final Fantasy game, you've got like, see ya, peace. You've got like four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, in my opinion, are going to be, and, and probably, well, no, I was gonna say, and probably in that order, but no, not in that order. Um, those are your games to choose from. You do not, you do not ride Final Fantasy 15. Here's what I think. It's 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 not a bad game, but I think the reason that it catches so much flack from me is because of what they were trying to use Give it me for. A kiss. Mm, sharing my ice cream. We're like Lady and the Tramp, and you're the Tramp. Oh wow. <laughs> Couldn't be more rude. <laughs> right. Come over to your house, call you a tramp. <laughs> Come over to your house, fire up your video games, call you a tramp. Um, here's what I think. I'm listening. Final Fantasy 13. Yep, terrible. Absolutely, without a doubt. Um, I think what happened there is somebody at Squaresoft decided they wanted to make a Tales game. Okay. With the, you know, the tail style of combat. Sure. Somewhere along the line, that got fuck. <laughs> that got fucked up. Yep. And it turned into what it is. Okay. So far, I'm with you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm thinking this time. I hear you're passing the. Deal. Whoever was in charge of making it finally got to make the tails game they wanted to make. Which is why the combat is, is they went with the real time action strategy. That was crap. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not complaining. <laughs> they went with that real time combat. Yep. Where you control one guy and your squad plays by themselves. Okay. And uh, they finally got to make the game that they wanted to make. And they made a big deal. Let me say this about about the just about the combat, right? So Tails has been around for a while, and regardless of anything, opinions are opinions, right? Right. So it's my opinion that if Tails have been around for as long as they have been, they gotta have the combat down pretty good at this point, right? Right. So if you are working for Square, wanting to make this. Tales ish RPG. Why would you then make it, but make it a point to take the combat back? Like the combat is significantly worse in Final Fantasy 13 than in any Tales game I have ever played. In 13 or are you talking 15? 13. Okay. Oh, thanks, bud. <laughs> Real nice. <laughs> Why would you take the combat back? You know. In, in, in 13. Well, that's why I'm and thinking that like, it was like a case of, you know, too many cooks in the kitchen. Ah, okay. And, you know, things got cross-mojinated a little bit along the way. And uh, 
you know, Final Fantasy XIII turned into a goddamn shit show. Sure. It was just a shit show. And fucking... Some of the weapons in that game read like a fucking Mad Lib. There's... What's her name? Vanille? Yeah. Alright, I started playing Final Fantasy XIII. Yep. There's a character named Vanille. 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 Whatever. Yeah. Her weapon... Alright. Fill in the... Like, it's like someone had a Mad Lib and filled in the blanks. Her weapon is a staff with antlers. And they sh they shoot grappling hook spikes. Yeah. 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 It's gonna be so dope. <laughs> yup. Fucking garbage. J yup. And I can't believe... I can't honestly believe that they rode Final Fantasy XIII for as much as they did. I went into Final Fantasy XIII with the full intention of finishing the series. Yeah. Ah. Uh, let me tell you, I did finish the series. You ain't missing nothing. I, I remember being so excited the day that Final Fantasy XIII came out. One of my buddies, uh, I didn't have a high def TV at the time, though I did have a PS3. One of my buddies had a PS3 and a high def TV, and he was getting it the night it came out. Okay. And uh, this probably won't mean a whole lot to oh, people out there in YouTube land, but Dash knows me well enough that as soon as I find something just boring AF, what do I do? Take a nap while it's on. Right. And For we're example, Alone in the Dark. Yes. Starring Christian Slater. It's a very good example. Um, so for the first time probably in like ever, I fell asleep. I would have been really pissed if you would have nailed that. God damn it. I fell asleep during a Final Fantasy game. On the day it came out. You know? Right. But, you know, I eventually got my copy of Final Fantasy 13, and I got my HD TV, and I played it, and I beat it, and I was I was mixed. Like, it was good. It's a Final Fantasy game. It's got to be good, right? It's really good. Final Fantasy. Hey, good job, bud. I took the board. You sure did. And also the lead. And you did. And that's a big lead. It's all right. Um, but then Final Fantasy 13 2 came out. See, I hear from people that 13-2 is the better one in that it feels like more of an interesting adventure Yeah. that fixes the, a lot of the problems that the first one had. No. Uh, Story-wise or game? Story-wise. Yeah, no. Really? No, it's... They, they introduced uh, time travel. Yeah, that's cool. If, if you don't know what you're doing when you introduce time travel, you fuck everything up. And I was I was super excited for Final Fantasy 13 because 13 2 because I thought they had to fix all the problems right and on the surface on the surface it does okay but as soon as you introduce time travel and you're not paying attention to what you're doing you got a really good Fuck. yeah you got but, a really good recipe whatever. for fucking shit up right you know I was I, I like the fact that they introduced or they they re they brought back the void. You I don't know? remember the void. That's from Final Fantasy 4. 5. With Bart's. It's from Final Fantasy 5. It's where... It's it's like the end game area. Oh! Where you go to fight X-Death. Yeah. It just... It introduces, like, the possibility for, like, anything. Because it, it's the void, right? Right. So I thought, I, th I thought that was cool enough. You know? And, and I played through it, and I beat it, and, and, and whatever. Um... But then, but then, Final Fantasy 13 3 or Lightning, Lightning Returns, Returns comes out. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I ain't firing off that fire right now. F that. I was really hoping you would. I know you were. Um, so that takes the whole, like, time element and, like, just decides to, like, you don't go back and forth in time in that game, but it takes liberties with like rewriting time okay that just kind of made everything the whole final fantasy 13 2 and 3 everything it's just fucking lame like they i can't i can't believe they made three games out of a series that really just did not did not deserve it well it's supposed to be the big thing i mean if well no that's not fair either 
I was gonna say, if it existed in a time when DLC was a thing, it would have been DLC, but it did exist in a time when DLC was a thing. Oh, I got all the DLC for Final Fantasy XIII too, as well, all the fights and everything. Because you had a Colosseum. Oh boy, yeah. I should have used the jump. Maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, I played Final Fantasy XV. I beat the main story. I do not intend to get any of the DLC. So, what did I get for DLC? I got Episode Gladio and Episode Prompto. And, like, they're cool enough, right? Thanks, dude. Yeah, buddy. They're cool enough, but, like, I didn't really feel like it added so much that it was even worth playing them. Was, was episode Gladio that part in the game where he's like, I gotta go take care of some stuff. Yeah, I thought he just had to go take a shit. And then he leaves your party for like, ten minutes and he comes back and they're like, Prompto, how was your stuff? I, I did my stuff. You mean Gladio? Whatever. Yeah. That, that was my Ignis voice. Alright. You're welcome. Yeah. I've oh, come no! up with a new recipe! Damn it. Oh. I <laughs> Whatever. I was gonna fly off. It's fine. You're doing fine. Yeah. But I honestly, like, all those DLCs, like, I got burnt out on them, you know? And, like, the cool novelty to have, sure. But what's really starting to piss me off is they come out with, um, you know, episode A, six bucks. Episode B, six bucks. And then they come out with, like, five other ones, and then you can get a bundle of them. For like twelve ninety nine, fuck you. How about a goddamn you know uh, rebate on what I already spent? And Capcom did the same goddamn thing. Of course, I went out and got. Well, my wife bought me the Legacy Collection for Mega Man. Um, it was like twenty bucks. She bought it for me for Christmas. I bought the Legacy Collection two when it came out. It was like twenty bucks. I bought the X Legacy Collection one and two, the bundle where you saved like. Two cents, because you bought them both together, okay. and instead of being twenty ninety nine, it was like thirty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. You know, did all that, and then they come out with Mega Man Eleven, and then you can get all f four of the Legacy Collections and Mega Man Eleven for like sixty bucks. You fucking assholes. Um, I think I have a worse story. Are you gonna tell I'll me share next that time? next time on Dash Mode Gaming? Oh, man, it's like I fucking knew it. It's like it's like you got a timer, and I could see it. Hey, we'll see you then. See you then.